Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Um, okay, I have a question. It's basically a dilemma I'm facing uh, these days a lot. Uh, all the good deeds that we must engage in, salah, kindness to parents, needy, poor, you know, uh, charity, they all need to be done with good intent and uh, with good niya. Now, there's a factor that the factor of riya, the show off should not come in. We need to be sure of our niya. Since, uh, since the day I have read this hadith, I've started doubting my niya, myself, much more than before. And I've started questioning myself that whatever I have been doing was it with good intention. Although I know that yes, it was, but I still get, you know, uh, upset. Particularly when I'm praying uh, at my workplace, we have this prayer room. And I really get upset when there are ladies coming in and praying along with me. And, you know, the thought comes into my mind that I don't want to be one that they think, you know, I'm beautifying my prayer. I don't know how to handle this. My sister, Jazakumullah Khair, what a beautiful, important, valid question. What happens is we do our deeds and we do so much. And when we see the hadith, which speaks of riya and show off, and the fact that if you're showing off, you're wasting your deed, we become worried. But shaitan uses the opportunity to make us think, hey, you know what, don't do the deed, just leave it because you're going to be showing. No, you try your best, you ask Allah to accept the deed. And in, inside you have the intention, oh Allah, it's for you. When shaitan comes to temper, you fight shaitan of, hey, get out. And you, you keep on doing the deed. So do not let the concern for Riyah make you stop doing your good deeds, but rather let it help you to uh, fine tune the deed in a way that it's more acceptable. And don't be too worried that, you know, if people see you, it does not mean that you are, you are showing off. No, you beautify your salah. It does not mean you are showing off. Do it for the sake of Allah. Oh Allah, it does not mean that because I've donated something and people have seen me donating that I'm showing off. But when I'm showing off is I've got a chip on my shoulder and really I feel okay I hope these sisters are watching Allahu Akbar you know and I'm saying I hope they're listening and and I hope that is now a problem but if if a thought crosses your mind am I or am I not by the will of Allah you are not because the mere fact that you are concerned about it it already shows that inshallah you are you are not doing it to show them but there's a worry that worry is enough subhanallah do not let shaitan you see there's a fine line shaitan uses the opportunity any opportunity to make you spoil your deed so what he does is he wants you not to do it the fact that you have been doing it and he hasn't managed now that you have knowledge he comes to you and says you know what you're spoiling your deed don't do it you're spoiling your deed you become upset it gets to a level where you can become depressed where you are so sad that's shaitan overtaking you say a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim and de de rejuvenate your declaration in the faith with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, I'm doing this for you, Ya Allah. Accept it. Oh Allah, protect me from Riyah. Oh Allah, grant, it, grant me acceptance. And inshallah, be strong and steadfast. And keep on looking at it positively. Don't take the matter such that you spoil your deeds. Like I said, Riyah, we should take it seriously. We don't do it for people. But there is a big difference. If you take a look at someone who does it for others, they have a clear-cut intention, I'm doing it for others. And they want to show off and sometimes a person does it for Allah and they beautify it a little bit because of others but you know inside your heart no I'm like in Salah in Ruku when you're bending you know you put your back straight so sometimes you're slouching and next thing you know dad walks in and I make it straight you know say my dad's walked in to be honest with you if we did it for dad we are wrong but if we did it for the sake of Allah, we are correct. And if we are worried that, Ya Allah, I'm doing it for you, but a thought might go in my mind that I did it for them, then that's for Allah. Don't, now shaitan is tampering with you. Shaitan is making you think for a minute that you did it for them. But you are clear that this is for Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and help us. Remember one thing, make dua to Allah. Call out to Allah. Ask Him to help you in this particular matter. And keep on calling out to him and ask Allah's protection from shaitan because this is also shaitan's way of making good people uh, become depressed regarding their good deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Jazakumullah khair.